Hey everyone, this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com and I wanted to show everybody a new accessory product we've got that we'll put on our website very shortly here for everybody to purchase if they want. Um, this may be applicable to many of our older customers too that have our products already. Uh, what it is essentially, and I'll just get right to it for everybody, um, traditionally, like for us, and I'll use this word paradigm, the paradigm has been, you know, to use this, this is called a G-clamp. Uh, gunnel clamp, if you will. You know, some people call them C clamps, but it really looks like a G more than anything if you think about it. But this is for a gunnel, right? This goes, this is purposely designed and built for typical small John boat, aluminum boat gunnels. It's fantastic, really good quality, awesome, you know, aluminum clamp here that's strong and tough and rugged. Anyways, all of our stuff, as you can see, uh, like right here, if the camera looks here, the battery sits on the top and the jaws, the jaws are below the battery box, right? So here's the battery box sitting on top of the clamp and then the jaws being right below that, of course. Now, so what that does is, if this is the gunwale edge of your boat, the side of your boat, side of your hull or whatever, and this is the, the, the obviously the rim of your boat, the top rim, you're going to take this guy, and this may be a bit redundant, you guys probably already understand what I'm saying, I'm just going to quickly do this anyways, just, just to prove my point very, very uh, concisely. So you just take this guy and then boom, it's sitting on the side of your boat. You can move that around different spots of your boat. So the paradigm is that you're always clamping it down onto a vertical wall, if you will, a vertical edifice or structure that allows, you know, that's less than two inches. The gap on these standard clamps that we sell as part of our kits is two inches wide. So if it's less than that, then you can do that. You can clamp it onto the side of your gunwale on your boat or some other kind of vertical structure that may be in your boat. Now, however, we've realized through one of our customers and also just even through this pull clamp mount system that we've created where you can actually tilt this guy so you can clamp this guy onto the deck of, uh, let's say a platform pontoon boat. So you want your battery box sitting this way, right? Okay. so. What I'm saying is this way, you see that? There you go. This is that very way we're talking about. So instead of the battery box resting, usually always, and it's always been this way for us for, for as long since we've been doing this, is they've been sitting on this face of the clamp. Now we've, we've made it so it can sit like this, strong and sturdy. And if this was like, let's say a deck boat, like a pontoon boat with the decks, party boat, people call them sometimes different things. You can clamp this guy down to your deck of the boat. So it's a, now it's a hoarder, horizontal. It is slightly angled by the way, everybody, just a little bit. You can always offset that with a tilting of your screen of your fish finder. You know, your fish finder, just put this down for a sec. Your fish finder can obviously, all of them, all of them have the tilt feature. So you can take this guy and just tilt it a little bit, whatever you need to do to offset it to whatever angle that you want it to be. As an example, this is the hook 5TS triple shot. But all of them are like that. Um, the Garmin, the Striker DV, this is another version, but yeah, there you go. Most of you probably already know that, but you gotta have to understand when I do these videos, I'm really also thinking of my audience as some of the some people don't even never used the fish finder before. Uh, but anyways, there you have it. It's this is on a deck or a vertical surface. Maybe you have a seat inside of your canoe or your boat or your small like whatever it could be, and you want to clamp onto your seat. This is another way of going about and achieving what you want is uh, getting this little accessory now. The way this works and the way that this is put together, I'm going to show you, as you can see on the back side here, if the camera gets close here, right in here and just looks at the detail in here. Okay, so I'm going to show you that here. So basically what you would get is you get this plate. Now, if you notice, the camera can back away a bit here. The note, if you notice, it's, it's basically just replicating the top form factor of the clamp here. 
So if you notice, the holes are exactly the same, like in, in terms of placement, positioning. So we're just taking this top face of the cl clamp and we're just putting it up here to, to take that, you know, that same pattern that fits all of our stuff. You know, it fits our non-powered stuff. If you want to see, our non-powered stuff will go on there. But it also now can go on the end, just like the battery box. So all of our stuff now can be converted. If you want, if you have some of the stuff and you would like to do this, all you would need is this accessory plate. And I'll show you how this is put together. You, uh, you're gonna have a little pin like you see here. And there's a, on the underside there, there's a hole that's not all the way through right here. It's, it's actually this for the setting set pin right here. And it just slides over top right like so and then you just take this guy this big uh, three six, uh, five sixteenths I think not quite sure exactly what that is but and you just screw that guy on there and then you'll have the, this hardware here to attach your various we'll, we'll put it on our website where we'll ask which you know like uh, well I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna approach it but we'll see uh, maybe we'll include a couple different lengths of screws like this for this this application for example if you have the sticker non power plate you're going to need longer screws if you have uh, just a box the battery box system they have they're pretty thin on the bottom where the whole the screws come through so you only need screws this long which will ultimately go through the battery box bottom into i'm just looking to see if i have any of those longer screws i don't think i do on hand here into here so then as you see it here this is what's keeping so that's that's the system there so now you've got your vertical so you might even when you buy it you know uh, you might decide that you want to have this plate just in case you know if you're if you're renting boats um, and different boats and stuff like that it never hurts to have the extra options to be able to resituate how you want this clamp clamping onto something again vertical or horizontal surfaces so again, just want to re reiterate, as, it was, as I was saying before and was touching on, is it fits all of our different mounts. Even the 10 amp hour, it fits on here. It's all the same, all the same. That would fit there, so it's vertical. So this plate is essentially, if you're a new customer, you can add this if you want an option or you just really want to just clamp it that way. Like I said before, on a seat or a deck of a boat or something like that. And the hardware, as I showed you, is going to be comprised of this plate essentially this this screw here and there's a little locator pin here that will also be included thanks for watching everyone